ho ho, happy holidays. As you guys can see, it is that time of the year. Some people are calling it Vlogmas. I, I like to call it Cashmas. Has a decent ring to it. And in today's video, I want to talk about the top five seasonal jobs slash side gigs that you could be doing this month to make an extra 5K, offset some of those additional expenses, and ride into 2021 with a little cash in your pocket. A flush with cash. Ah, but before I get into this list, you know what to do. Make sure to like and subscribe below. We're trying to grow the channel almost at 20 subscribers. It's huge for a new channel, so I appreciate the love. All right, let's get into it. Yes, it's no surprise that these are the big three. Amazon, UPS, and FedEx are literally hiring hundreds of thousands of workers to help deliver packages this holiday season. Now, surprisingly, what you may not know is that they are hiring with a pretty good pay rate. Most of these locations and, and these different roles will hire anywhere from $15 an hour all the way up to $25 an hour. And depending on the location, the facility itself, you could even get a sign-on bonus anywhere from $500 to $1,500. So all in all, with four to five weeks worth of work, you could be making over five grand either working in a warehouse or as a delivery driver this holiday season. Now, I know this is not the most exciting work, but it is temporary and they will literally hire anybody with a pulse. Yes, pulse check, you are hired. And yes, these jobs are not hard to find. Go to any job board, Indeed, ZipRecruiter, LinkedIn, and you will literally see Amazon, Amazon, UPS, UPS, FedEx, FedEx. Click a button, apply. You will likely get a call within the week. And out of all the seasonal jobs slash side gigs that I've seen, this to me has the best earning potential given the time span and giving what they're willing to pay people to come in and work and help deliver packages this holiday season. So definitely something to consider. And my next one on my list is going to be a personal shopper on TaskRabbit. Yes, if you were to go to TaskRabbit right now and look at the different personal shoppers on there, they are all charging an average rate between $20 and $50. And usually if you are in a bigger metro area, you're gonna be on the high end of that pay scale. So $50 an hour to go shop for somebody else. Now, that's if you can brave the malls this time of year. They should be rather empty-ish. And you can also set yourself apart with different add-ons to this service. Whether it's gift recommendations, personal gift wrapping, which I would be terrible at. So only do it if you have a knack for gift wrapping and aren't Fumble fingers. Fumble fingers. And other unique personal shopping recommendations that you could just kind of give your own flavor to and really help people that need to shop but don't necessarily want to shop online or don't want to go into the stores themselves. They want to outsource that, have somebody come in that's going to be more of a professional or have more of a taste for shopping for gifts for their loved ones. So definitely another one to consider. Ah, the old standby Uber, Lyft, DoorDash. Really hard to go wrong with one of those three, and maybe there's a chance that you've already signed up for those services. If you haven't, now is a great time to consider that. And while holiday traffic may be down this year, local traffic and local commute is still going to be in play, given that it's cold this time of year and people still need to travel locally to see their families. Now, the one thing to note is that Uber and Lyft have guaranteed earnings upon ride completions in the past. And the one thing I really like, and I've seen on the Uber website recently, is that you could go in there and really look at estimated earnings for your area. So depending on the hours you wanna work and whether you want to also include Uber Eats uh, within your delivery, it will give you estimated earnings and walk you through this different slider depending on how many hours you wanna work. And then this is all correlated to the metro that you are working in. For instance, I live in Denver, so you could see what the Denver rates would be depending on the number of hours that I work. And finally, DoorDash. DoorDash has really grown over this pandemic period for the last year or so. Uh, this is another one that's not too late to get in on. Uh, depending on where you are, DoorDash will guarantee up to 2,500 in earnings. They also will average out at about $15 an hour all the way up to $25 an hour if you're really putting in the hours and hustling. I mean, people still have to eat and they don't really wanna go out to restaurants right now. So food delivery service has never been a better time. In December, expect that to continue on. 
Like DoorDash, food delivery has been another space that has really boomed over this year. Uh, companies like Shipt and Instacart are the ones that I would recommend here. On Shipt's website, if you wanna be a grocery shopper, they say you could earn up to $22 an hour. And while most people have elected to stay at home and avoid the crowded grocery stores, and frankly, I don't blame them because grocery shopping in a crowded grocery store sends my anxiety to a 10. If you don't mind that, then this is certainly one for you. And especially you could expect tips to be a little bit higher this holiday season as people are ordering in more in December and especially as we have these holiday meals and holiday get togethers. What this means is that it's gonna be a higher average grocery delivery and based on that, you are gonna have a higher percentage of tips. And this is one that you could also mix and match with. So if you wanted to be this grocery shopper one day and then do DoorDash the other day, I would highly recommend that and highly recommend depending on the days and what activity you see to flip back and forth. And the last one is pretty simple, sell stuff online. Now eBay came out with the study that said the average American household had $7,000 worth of unused stuff that could be sold online. Granted, eBay might have a bias in that survey, but still, if you look around your household, there is likely a chance that you could sell something online even for just a few hundred dollars. And if you didn't have that lying around the house, there's other sites that you could do, whether it's eBay, whether it's Etsy, Poshmark, to come up with your own crafts, sell them online, or if you want to resell, say, fashion or clothes, Poshmark is a great one, and you could look at different YouTubers flipping clothes on Poshmark, going to Goodwill, seeing what brands are available, and then putting those on Poshmark for a profit. Now, if you want to start on Etsy, and you were a little bit crafty, if you don't have an Etsy store already, you will likely need to pay for some advertising to drive traffic, but once you do, you could determine your advertising costs and your profit margin to see if that could work out. Now, a ton of people and a ton of creators are crafty, so that's definitely one to look into if you are. So that's it, five different seasonal jobs slash psychics that you could do over the next month and make up to $5,000. No more excuses that you couldn't buy great Aunt Susie or Trinket or little Timmy his PS5. Kidding, I'm still trying to get my hands on one of those, so if you know a guy, let me know, comment below. And if you end up doing any of these side gigs, let me know what your earnings look like. If you've done in the past, feel free to share that below. If you haven't, let me know here in the next month or so if, if you are able to make any money from it. And with that, from my family to yours, a Merry Cashmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Uh, you get the picture.